this task, I will show you how to maintain the M240 Bravo. Upon approaching a weapon system, you must first ensure that the weapon system is clear. This is done by ensuring that the safety mechanism is on fire by pressing it from right to left. Next, pull the cocking handle, locking the bolt to the rear, and return the cocking handle to the forward lock position, then place the weapon on safe. Push the latches in, exposing the cover assembly. Ensure feed tray and feed tray cover assembly are clear of all brass, ammo, and links. Raise feed tray, inspect chamber, bolt face, and ejection port for any loose brass, ammunition, or links. Lower the feed tray and the feed tray cover assembly, ensuring that it is fully seated and locked. Put the weapon on fire by pushing the safety from right to left. Pull the cocking handle to the rear, depress the trigger, and ride the bolt forward. Now that the weapon has been cleared, it is now safe to disassemble the weapon into its eight major groups. First thing we're gonna do is remove the barrel. This is done by pushing the barrel release latch and pushing outward on the barrel. Next, push the pin on the trigger assembly from right to left, releasing the trigger assembly. Push the latch on the bottom side of the buffer assembly, freeing the buffer assembly from the receiver. Push in on the drive spring assembly releasing it from the receiver and pull outward. Next, pull the cocking handle to the rear, freeing the bolt and the operating rod assembly from the receiver. Lastly, remove the cover assembly pin by tapping from left to right and remove the cover assembly and the feed tray. The M240 Bravo is broken into eight major groups. The buttstock and buffer assembly, bolt and operating rod assembly, drive spring rod assembly, trigger housing assembly, receiver, Feed tray, cover assembly, and lastly, the barrel. Next, I will assemble the M240 Bravo. First thing I will reassemble is the feed tray, the cover assembly, And the cover assembly pin, pushing it from right to left, ensuring it is fully seated. Open the cover assembly. Install the bolt and operating rod. Close the cover assembly. Install the driving spring assembly. Install the buffer assembly. Install the trigger assembly. And lastly, replace the barrel. Next, I'll perform a function check. Ensure the weapon is on fire by pressing the safety from right to left. Grasp the cocking handle, pull the cocking handle to the rear and return it to the forward lock position. Place the weapon from fire to safe and attempt to pull the trigger. The weapon should not fire. Place the weapon back on fire, pull the cocking handle to the rear, depress the trigger and ride the bolt back to the forward lock position. Lastly, close the ejection port cover.